Now to our final story tonight. The Jewish high holidays are upon us, but after the last year under the shadow of the pandemic, far from the normal festive meals, many are finding themselves reaching out to charity organizations just to put basic food on the table. So thankfully, there are those organizations who hear these people's pleas, and among them is Yad Ezrav Shulamit, which aims to feed the poor and otherwise help the needy. They just can't do it alone. So joining me now with how we can help, ILTV reporter Asaf Nisan. Uh, Asaf, thanks so much for being with us uh, on, and this is a very important topic, really. What happened that we see such a rise in the need for charity this year? Uh, you know, because weren't there programs to help prevent people from falling below the poverty line? There were programs there, Aaron, for always our programs, but in the end of the day, the problem is those, prog those programs are prone to fall, prone to, to, be, to be buried under red tape, under a lot of bureaucracy. So you cannot promise exactly that those plans will come to fruition, and even then, not all of them are optional to get the same, the same uh, help, the same, mon the same monetary compliance, the same meals. Mm -hmm. The fact is because those, those programs have very specific terms and conditions, those limit you pretty much to how much you can, you can contribute to. All right, so is this something that, how long term of a problem do we expect this to be in terms of the, the rate of poverty and how it's grown and, and whether or not it will be reduced? And what is Yad Ezra Shulamit planning to do uh, for the holidays this year to, to help out as much as they can? So unfortunately, we're not going to see a, a short, we're going to see this as a long-term effect because we are still, if, still experiencing and yet to experience the effects of the COVID-19 virus. And we are seeing it's not over with the different variants. So I would say this is a long-term problem that won't go away this easily. But thank God for organizations like Yad Ezra Shulamit who are coming to help. And what they're planning this year is actually raising for Rosh Hashanah and for the High Holy Days, 50,000 meals. This is part, of course, of their you know, natural program to help yeah. in any other way possible, like food, clothing, um, you know, schools, and even uh, community centers for different types of uh, programs in society. But at the end of the day, they still want to make sure people, people have the food on the table. And this is their most important term and uh, condition, for, of course, to make everything work. So uh, for people who are maybe donating to them, because of course Yad Ezra Shulamit is, is working on donations, could the donations be made as one-time payments or maybe uh, uh, spread payments out, things like that? I know in Israel we have Tashlumim, which are... Which basically, yeah. yeah. I mean, Israelis love that, and of course it's optional for everyone who wants to donate. It doesn't have to be a one-time thing. It could be even a six-month a six program or maybe even a yearly program. So you could, so you could potentially, you know, if, if uh, a single investment might be a little too much, you could spread you could spread them out and exactly or in case you want to support a whole family a, sp a family throughout the year wow. a lot of a lot of organizations and you know yeah design to meet also they support specific families throughout the year and every and a monthly donation every month to make sure that family has food on their table all right so final question you know where do we go if we want to help out so what we need to do is just go to the website try design to meet there, you're going to have the option to donate, and as much as you feel like you need, and as much as you can give, hopefully getting to the point where we get to 50,000 meals by Rosh Hashanah. All right. Asaf Nisan, thank you so much. Thank you so much.